And I pray right now the Lord be touching us today with His presence and give us to understanding His Word. Because in this pandemic time, many people lose faith. And God speak to us in this time. Your faith is under attack. Your faith under disappointed. Your faith under test. And that's why we need to be strong Amen. in these days. Because many people lose the fire. Many people lose the faith in God. And God speak to us so strong in this time. In Psalm 46 verse 10. Be still and know that I am your God. I will be exalted among the heaven. And I will be exalted in the earth. God will be exalted, brethren. In each of our life, despite the enemy you may be facing. The enemy is coming with thoughts with feelings, with bad dreams, with sadness, with loneliness. This is the strategy of enemy to giving to you. Sometimes we forget that it's God's job to get us in and out of things. It's the devil's job to make things seem too big or impossible. He always here. It's impossible to you. It's too much for you. You are a loser. You're not be successful. That's why he's always give us negative spirit. The enemy always make what you are in seem bigger than what you can handle. And we buy and to all the time. We may not tell everyone. But in our minds, we begin to think, can I really be healed? Can my money really change? Can my marriage over be? We find ourselves treating and trying by enemy to put us in negative thoughts. And we thinking and thinking all the time. And that's why God said, release to me and believe and trust me. Amen. Take the faith on the shield. Take the faith on your robe or your day by day life. What did God say to us? Slow down. Stop and be still. Wait. Patiently, I am there for you. Don't be discouraged and uh, don't be disappointed. He wants us to get focus, brethren. Focus. Many believers, they are not focused. They are busy with own things. With parties, with friends, with selling things, with all the... Everything is temporary. Don't lose you glorious preciousness of time. Amen. Don't be over religi religion. Religious. With your way of thinking. And God say here to us, your sicknesses is not God. Your lack of money is not God. Your broken down situation is, is not God. The Lord won't any of you be lost. God don't want you to be lost. He don't want you to go down. But God said, I'm the bigger no matter what situation. God said, I will be exalted. I will be lifted up. No matter what, every time and I see, you know what? I was under test many times, brethren. Many times under test. And my family always under test. The enemy always looking small parts and gentle parts and soft parts to attack. But you know, this is the way how we do this. 
Be still. Trust and believe. Amen. And don't be panic. Don't be stressed. Don't be uh, disappointed in this test time, brethren. Test is always come, but you need to be ready. Ready. Ready with the Word of God. Ready with positive spirit of speaking. Ready with your faith is going forward. Amen. Amen. God is about to be magnified in spite of your condition, in spite of your circumstances. If you take step back, you come out realizing the devil is the liar. And your circumstances are false pregnancy. But your God is bigger. No matter what, the God is bigger in your work. God is bigger in your destiny. God is bigger in your health. God is bigger in your future. He's the bigger. And we must believe in this. Amen. If you can exalt Him, magnify Him, raise Him up in your daily life, He will exalt your situation and it will be amazing what breakthrough and miracle favor. Always I pray for breakthrough. Amen. Favor of God. God say, I will be exalted in the earth. Not maybe, not maybe. But he will be. Make that your declaration. Every day you will be exalted in my life. My God will be exalted in my situation. Amen. Amen. And the faith, emuna in Hebrew, emuna. Say after me, emuna. La mean to believe, to trust. Also, emuna me to training. La amin from the word amen. Also from the word amen, el melech neiman, God, King, faithful. Amen. That's meaning amen. But it's to training. God is faithful. God, King, faithful. And you are part of training. Faith is not mental attitude. It's the powerful substance and creative forces. Amen? Amen. It's importation of God's substance and to living men and women of God to bring things to pass here on this earth. When God impart faith, impartation, and He giving to you miraculous faith, substance, and to our spirit, it become reality exciting in the realm of the spirit. Amen? Amen. In the realm of the spirit. Faith is the power that take hold on unsee personally, and you still not see in your physical realm. And create a positive life of blessing and glorious provision. What God will be giving to you? Blessing and glorious. Because He not give you a little. He give you glorious provision. Amen. Amen. Faith come through a rema. Rema is meaning excitement of God. Mighty. Powerful. I call this. Uh, radical faith. Amen. This is meaning Rema. Rema is mean radical. Amen. Word that imparts substance to us by God. The vision, image, or picture how it exists in your heart. You see the things, hope for our belief, for and you speak it and to be. Confess, brethren, with the mouth and believe with the heart. Our tongue form, control and define your words. Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1 says, this beautiful verse, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Tell us today, now faith, a substance, divine sense or a material of God, of things hoped for, Evidence, proof, fact, it exists or things not see. This is in Hebrew translation. Faith is more than just hoping something will happen. 
It believed that God will do what He say He will do. He say I will do this no matter what. He's stable God and He never change. You must understand this. Faith is taking action and stepped over a promise of future and destiny and goal and purpose that has not yet been realized. And notice that the beginning with the word now, faith is coming in reality. Brethren, I live by faith all these 30 years of my faith in the Lord Yeshua. My life never be the same. Many times my friends say, why you believe in this? What you physically not see. That's as meaning I, fear, I believe. What I not see with my physical realm, I believe in the spiritual realm. Amen? Yes. That's why I encourage you, grow in faith. Believe more. Yes. Especially in this pandemic time. Especially in this hardship time. Brethren, it's really testing time. God said, God made the world from invisible things and by spoken word. Because he speak the word. He was power in his word. The natural physical realm is created and controlled by spiritual law that creates substance, evidence, and facts. Amen? When faith is imported and to our spirit, it's easy to believe. That's meaning... And faith is imparted, impartation, it's enter in to our life. It's much easy to believe. Great faith results in what is called the gift of faith. Hebrews chapter 11, continue verse 3, says, By our thoughts, a true faith, by our true faith, we understand that we, the world were framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen were not made things which are invisible. Visible, sorry. There are spiritual rewards beyond our wildest imagination that are waiting us if we will continue to press Love and earnestly seek God in the spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 says, However, as it's written, no eyes has seen, no ears has heard, hear, no mind has conceived that God has prepared for those who really love God. Him and trust Him. Truth and knowledge are powerful, will set you free. Brethren, remember, Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ, walk on the earth as man, reflecting His Abba's Father's image while operating in the faith. Amen? Amen. In Romans chapter 8, 18 to 23 says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory what will be revealed in us. The creation wait in eager expectation for the sons of God to be revealed. Powerful. For the creation was subject to frustration. Not by his own choice, but by will of the one who subject in, in hope that creation itself will be liberated from his bondage to the clay, decay and brought into glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been ruining us pain of child, child, childbirth right up present time. My brethren, salvation, you know, is so important to you not lose your salvation. Amen. 
people thinking I'm safe is be forever. No, brethren. Many people lose salvation. Salvation changes your spiritual DNA. And from natural, early, sensual being into the earth, eternally alive being by sperma or seed of God. Once God's seed is planted in our spirit, we begin to be transformed and to His image as our mind is renewed to agree with His vision. Amen? Amen. The soul of natural man desire to rule the spirit. Sons of God are ruled by the spirit and not fulfill the desire of sin. And flesh, doubt, is ag agreeing with vision of our soul, rather than letting your spirit lead. Brethren, faith is released by words, emotions, and feelings. Are you with me? Amen. Faith works by love only. Everything is produced from building blocks or sense of almost of light. Ephesians chapter 3, 16 to 19 says, I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Messiah Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and establish in love. Are you understand? Amen. Rooted and establish in love. Amen. May you have power together with all saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is love of Messiah and to know his love and surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. God's word bring for life. Increase abundance when you when our mind are renewed to walk an elevated state of spirit. Amen. Amen. Everything is made from atoms and inhaled together by the power of God. Amen. Brethren, we must believe in Him, Amen. trust in Him. That is my encouragement for you today in this day of Shabbat. And don't be disappointed to serving Him. There is not always everything looking good in our life. But what is very important in this season? To be covered by God. You must be covered by Him. Covered by His mercy. Covered by His blood. Covered by His wings of majesty. You are covered, God say. In Jonah chapter 2 verse 8 says, They, they observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. We see here, God don't want us to have make excuses for all things we do wrong and cause ourselves to move and to place of denial. We can excuse behaviors based on our, our, our attitude, situation, temper. You know, I'm, I know many people, their temper always aggressive, shouting, screaming. These people, or we excuse ourselves with, I did get enough sleep, or I have enough coffee yet. I will shift responsibility in action taking. I not feel well. I am not have happiness today. I am not joyful. All this kind of situation, God say, we always walking with the spirit of excuses. Brethren, and you walk in the spirit, you are always happy. You are see me. I'm smiling, always encouraged, always enthusiastic, always on fire. You know why? Because the faith of God dwelling in me. Yeah. 
and you're testing his first love, your life never be the same. Many people never experience first love, the love of God. And you really experience the first love, your life be never be the same. God say that when we do, that we may pass the people test, but we don't pass his test. God don't want us to deny things when he shed his blood on Calvary, on Golgotha. To cover everything that we are ever done or will do. God wants you to know that he got you cover. He loves when you can come to him and say, I know I shall have passed through. I know I, I must be joyful. I must forgive others, no matter what, what my feelings today. I know it. I was wrong with my temper. Lord, forgive me. I want to refresh my faith. I want to refresh my attitude. I want to be positive in my work, positive in my situation. No matter what, God is always involved. You change, everything around you starts to change. Amen? That's part of walking in the Spirit, brethren. Every time you draw from the, from the blood on the Calvary of Golgotha, every time you draw from, for, from the forgiveness that flow from the Savior Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ's heart to you, it make everything Savior, Redeemer, Jesus Christ suffer for what? For, for worth it. It's worth it, brethren. Brethren, really. This not need to be excuses. No need to feel bad or shame. I know people, everything has happened because of me. Look at my situation because of what I've done. Finish to to shame yourself all the time. Finish. Take your position in faith and believe and trust Him more. Amen? God knew when He saw, when He saved you, protect you, that you were perfect. And He knew that you are and will be making no mistakes because your journey is belong to Him. Amen? Brethren, God say, I will give you freedom. Amen. You will never know. That freedom is heavy price, brethren. True faith, true love, true forgiving heart. Forgive the, all the people who damage you. Forgive them. You are not, and you not forgive, you not enter to New Jerusalem. That's meaning this is in the process. Check your heart. Check, release, release the, all the people who damage you. All the people who are accusing you. All the people who is really giving you so much struggles. You know, people who are accusing you all the time. And they not have the fruits. You know, that's why I put in Facebook. Very strong word. People who is not have the fruits. And they are accusing you. I'm sorry. I keep distance from these people. Because these people not leaving testimony to me. People who really want to uh, encourage you. Mentoring you. Correct you, but you see the fruits of their life. I hope you not be disappointed. We are correcting you. Sometimes through the word, sometimes in your personal life. You know, some people start to calling from our church, calling to me specific hours. Six o'clock in the morning, specific day. I hope you have desire and find a day, time to call me and we pray together with agreement. With agreement, because it's powerful to you call me and really agree in the prayer together. And this is be lifting us up because I not see you every day. That's why it's very important. Once in a week, we must communicate it. Not only here in the church, but also outside the church. To communicate it in the prayer and communicate it in the spirit. Come with brethren. And we stand up and pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for emunah, the faith. Like you say, faith 
is not mental attitude, is the powerful substance to creative forces. Lord, thank you. Today, we renew our faith. We renew our belief. We more trust in you and we more depending on you. Heal some parts of our body in miraculous way. Sustain our financial situation. Give us wisdom to we be not lose no one cent. Lord, protect us. Protect our finances. Protect our families. Protect our relatives. Protect our children who have. Protect the marriages who have. And Lord, bless who is still waiting for the marriage, especially in this time. Lord, you made from impossible, possible. And I bless everyone today in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Yeshua, the Messiah. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord turn His face to you and give you everlasting peace. He is the Prince of Peace. Remember this, Sar Shalom, Yeshua, the Messiah. He is your hope and sustainer. Yes and amen. Be blessed, brethren. Shabbat Shalom, brethren. And be strong in the Lord in these days.